So Bob keeps getting bigger, putting on weight like he's never put on before. And I've been riding him, trying to work on getting him more fit and more balanced so that I can continue forward with his training. A lot of what I'm asking him to do really hasn't been asked of him since he was a young horse in training. Let's go to the right. There we go. So we've got to rebuild those muscles that he had at one point, but he hasn't had in a long time. I need to lift his shoulders. A minute ago, he didn't want to steer to the right. And now it's from this left shoulder being poked out. So we're continuing to build strength lifting the shoulders. He's more agile with that right shoulder lifting it than he is with the left shoulder. We still have issues with that one lead that we're working on. It takes two parts to get any part of movement, whether you're talking about walk, walk trot, lope, whatever, it takes two parts. Shoulders and back need to lift and round. Hips and back end need to engage and push. So it takes both parts to make that happen. I rarely work both parts at the same in the same day on the same exercise. I've talked about that once or twice before. I will typically either work on moving the shoulders, lifting the back, or I will work on engaging and pushing the back end. I rarely work on both at the same time in the same exercise. The reason for that is I want to kind of target the muscle groups that I'm working on each day. I don't want to work on the whole body every day. We're going to work on this muscle group, we'll work on that muscle group, we'll work on the middle. We'll work on different muscle groups each day. I feel like that helps to bring the horse along better. I can bring him along more balanced because I can work on whatever muscle groups needs the most work at that time. And also, I'm kind of giving specific muscle groups a little bit of a break because I'm typically not working on them every day, multiple days in a row. I'll work on a muscle group for a ride or two, maybe three, then I'll move on and work on a different muscle group. In the last video, you saw me asking him to lope, push with his back end, picking up both leads. This video, I'm more concentrating with the shoulders and the ribs, asking him to pick those muscle groups up. Bring the shoulder over, there we go. Nice, that side. Get this side better. There we go. Not bad. I'd like to get a little more break at the pole. Like that. There we go. I did that with my spurs, not with my hands. By using a little bit more spur to lift up its back. Now it's kind of pushing on my hands, pushing on my right hand. I'm going to push up my right spur. I'll let you yield that one over. Want to go down there. Let's counter bend him. Get him off of that hand, off of that spur. There we go. He still hasn't built the muscle up yet to hold himself in frame, to hold himself in collection. He'll get there, but he doesn't hold it. As he gets there, I'll kind of set my hands on that frame and then I'll feel him start to lose that roundness, lose that strength and fall onto my hands. Let's use the left rein, left leg again. There we go. Right rein, right leg. That's his better one. Left rein, left leg. That was better that time, but you saw his nose come out. Move his shoulder over. Make one loop down here, then we'll come back. See how he's kind of coming out of frame, he's pushing on my hands. Let's break this right shoulder loose. Left shoulder. Right shoulder. 
left shoulder. Basically what was happening there was he was kind of running off with me at a trot. A horse can run off with you at a walk, he can run off with you at a trot, he can run off with you at a lope. He was kind of running off with me. So instead of pulling back, I lifted his shoulders, around the back, let's go forward. Well, let's give him a loose rein. Just try and steer right there. There we go. This is how a horse develops their neck rein. Just like I was using counterbend to move his shoulders over. Left rein, left leg. Now we ended up with a neck rein. Now his, his neck rein was already pretty far along. But that's how they end up with a neck rein. That's how they learn it. And you basically, in the process of strengthening their body, they learn the neck rein. It's not really a separate task. It's a matter of asking the horse to round its body correctly, and the neck rein is the result. Left rein, left leg. Bring your shoulders this way. Maintain forward. Shoulders. Now let's go straight. It's the way that he the lead that he prefers. He doesn't like the right lead. We're going to be working on that a little bit. <coughs> now we got the lead you don't like. You saw that's getting a little bit better. That was a lot easier to get than the last time you saw me ask for it. That's all from working the same stuff that I talked about in the previous video. Lifting the shoulders, engaging the back. Now that we have a lope, we need to work the same shoulder movements. Lift the shoulder. And now let's go right, maintain bend. Maintain bend, steer over, steer over. Kind of hanging on my right hand a little bit. Right rein, right leg, bring the shoulders that way. Now let's go right. This is what strengthens the back at a lope, just like it strengthens it. You kind of want to go down there again. We're going to go over here. But I'm doing the same leg yielding that I did at a trot. Let's bring the shoulders to the left. Right rein, right leg, there we go. Now, if I was to bring his shoulders to the right, with left rein, left leg, that is a lead change. So I'm not gonna ask for that until we get to a certain point asking for the yield this way. It needs to be soft to a point, we're not quite there yet. When I ask the shoulders to move over, I need to feel him lifting his back and bringing his head without me helping him much with the rain. Step run down. And now we'll do a circle. We're in the right lead, so we're going to stay right. When he loses his bend and his engagement, I'll tip his nose and I'll lift the shoulder up. Remember, that's mainly what I'm working on here. Is roundness. Roundness in the front end. He needs to build more impulsion in the back end. Build more engagement, build more muscle. But this ride, 
I'm working on around this engagement. Let's do another rundown. I want to bring the left shoulder around, get straight, and right down the end of the reel, let's get straight, still has his head off to the right. He started turning to the right before I got to the end of the arena. I need to make that better. That's going to matter when we get further along. Head to the right a little. The little things like that, head to the right. It's important. You can't ignore it. You have to pay attention to correctness. And let's come down to a trot. Kind of stretching down. I left him alone and let him. Now we're going to come around. We're going to pick up the left lead. And this one, the one he generally wants. This is the one that's easier for him. But you know, didn't have his body correct. I wasn't going to ask for it. Right leg back. Notice he's loping off much better than he was in the last video when I asked him to lope off. Let's start the left. He's not tipping his nose to the left. Gonna fix that. And now let's ask him to leg yield over. Left rein, left leg. There we go. He turned good, but didn't have good body frame. Let's go around and do that again. A little bit better. Let's go back into another circle. Left rein, left leg. Left rein, left leg. Lifted the shoulder up. Broke it pole nice that time. And let's trot. So he's coming along nice. Coming along nice. I really like how he's working. I think we're going to get somewhere. Everything is improving really good that's what i look for is improvement people ask me well how long would you work this one thing for how long would you do a specific thing for and the answer is i'm going to keep doing it as long as i get improvement and as long as he's improving like he's doing i'm gonna keep working with him uh, i had originally taken him out of training and quit working him because he had quit improving and uh, in a lot of ways he's nicer now than he was then so this is bob i'll put a link up here to his other videos until next time, thank you for watching.